Hi. Hi. Uh, what's your feeling about this game? We're starting from the opening. Well, uh, I have to say I was uh, surprised as early as move one. Oh. We were expecting d4, and uh, when uh, Late NG played e4, uh, it was a big surprise for both of us. And it, get, it, it got even better, only, only better after that. So, so e4 is uh, a battle of fighting, right? Uh, supposed yeah, to be. It's uh, supposed to be on, on the one hand, but on the other hand, there is this Berlin that oh, scares everybody yes. away from e4, especially in world championship matches. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and it was very interesting to see uh, Lei come, uh, come up with a fresh idea, mm -hmm. and uh, which gave her some very interesting chances uh, down the road. So, it yes. was very, very interesting. Yeah, that's serious. All right, so let's let's make a short recap about this game, right? So mm -hmm. as we said, e4 is um, is a move which we did not expect, especially given the fact that uh, Lay's uh, main uh, move is normally d4 yeah. with all kinds of uh, Catalan uh, lines, but she opted for e5, and sure enough, uh, we saw the Berlin on the board, mm -hmm. and. Uh, it makes just, sense. Right? It makes sense, but just uh, when uh, uh, we thought uh, we are in for some maybe not so interesting uh, fight, um, there came uh, the fresh idea of knight c3 mm -hmm. uh, sacrificing mm -hmm. the pawn on d4. This is not a new idea. Clearly prepared. Uh, yeah, it was clearly prepared, and it was uh, actually the, the important preparation here came uh, with bishop uh, d3. Mm -hmm. The main move uh, in this position is uh, bishop b4, which was uh, played uh, most of the times until now. But look at this. Uh, bishop d3 was played uh, four times uh, mm -hmm. quite recently, and it was played by all, uh, all high, very high-rated players, and white scored three and a half out of the four games. So this is a definitely a very interesting uh, idea, a fresh idea. And judging by the time that uh, Ju and Jun uh, spent after, the, uh, after this um, bishop d3 move, for her it was a surprise. Mm -hmm. Now the, the main idea here basically is that black uh, cannot uh, cannot develop her pieces, right? Yes. Uh, although although black has the uh, extra pawn. It's very hard to make progress because the, all the pieces are misplaced. And uh, the knight on d6, after bishop d3, it has no square, uh, no square on f5. And if we go to e8, uh, immediately there is a tactical uh, problem of yeah. queen e4 yeah. uh, with a uh, fork winning the game. So uh, Ju Win Jun took on c4. She, she took some time, uh, but actually she reacted. And it, it was very interesting to see that she played quite she did take the time to think, mm -hmm. but uh, she played quite fast uh, the, the, the next stage of the game, which, was, uh, which is an indication, I think, of her good form and the quick calculation yeah. during the game. Because I feel that the black must be under pressure, even though the computer said that was uh, okay, but uh, still... Absol yeah, exactly, the absolutely. So the, 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 the computer says zero, 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 but it's anything but, very, but uh, clear for uh, how black uh, should proceed. For instance, here uh, moves like queen f6, which come, uh, which look uh, natural for a human, mm -hmm. uh, they 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 are natural. But the problem here is that, yeah, still uh, that problem. Uh, the knight is hanging, and if you try to defend, uh, white can even take wow. on h7. The, uh, the yeah, point being that the, the the queen uh, the rook is protected um, by uh, by this tactical uh, moves. So uh, d5 uh, was the natural choice mm -hmm. uh, of uh, Ju Bin Jun. And uh, after bishop f4, and we should say that uh, even until now, uh, all the moves, uh, Lei was blitz blitzing out her moves, meaning that she was still in her home prep. Uh, Bishop e6, continuing the development. So white is not uh, doesn't have anything concrete, but it's a slow pressure for the for the pawn. And it's it's tough to play for black, right? Yes, I have to say I love the bishop pair. Absolutely, the bishop pair uh, is fantastic. It's yes. dominating. The bishop will go to f5 to put some pressure uh, along the the long diagonal. 
Again, the computer is unimpressed here, but uh, we are not computers, and uh, during the game, it's uh, you, you sh it's not always easy to find the moves for Black. Yes. Jupin Jun found this uh, this setup to get to get out her pieces, but still her knight is very passive, and this mm -hmm. is the whole game uh, mm -hmm. of White will be based on that. After knight d6, this is the first time actually that uh, late in G it took the time yes. to think. And we feel that uh, the computer insists that the best uh, move here is actually h4, which oh. is a bit counterintuitive. Uh, yes. uh, after playing a4 in the previous move, to go on and play h4 on the next move. The point, though, that if we manage to, uh, after the knight went to d6, it, it uh, a little bit awakens the queen's, uh, the king side of black uh, by uh, by moving one of the defenders to the to the center to the queen side. And this makes the move h4 uh, quite annoying for black after you see it, right? Sure. And not, not immediately, if you, it, it might not even cross your mind if you don't see this move, but once you see, you can really justify this move. Yes, psychologically uh, aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. And uh, one of the points being here that after h4, uh, for instance, if uh, black plays a bishop f5, and uh, this is one of the uh, things that black would love to do, is to exchange this pair of bishop, there is a very uh, unno uh, unpleasant uh, tactical shot. Bishop takes d6. The point being that after c takes d6, there is bishop b5 and the queen Oh. is lost in the middle of the board. You can go nowhere but to d8, and then you lose the queen with a rook e8 wow, check. Amazing. Um, absolutely amazing. And of course, uh, you cannot take with the, with the queen because you just uh, lose the, uh, the bishop. Another option black would have uh, had here is to take on d3, but then there is a very important move, bishop e5, attacking g7, mm -hmm. and attacking the bishop on, on d3, and after f6, we just take and take back. We are equal material, but Black's king is so weak here yes. that uh, White is much, much better. Instead of that, though, uh, Lei uh, Tenji uh, played Rook E3, a move which also is very natural. She wants, uh, because all her pieces are eyeing the, yes, the king side, the right? King side. So, you, uh, so it makes a lot of sense to bring uh, the Rook the to the king. Rook attack. Absolutely. And uh, the point being that, for instance, after the natural knight f5 attacking the rook, uh, rook ch simply continues uh, to f2 uh, h3 mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, yes. with the threat of uh, g4, and uh, all, uh, all of a sudden everything is coming. Yes. But there is a very, uh, there are actually, black here has two very concrete, uh, mm -hmm. uh, concrete ways to target white's plan. One is uh, what uh, Jubin Jun played Eight. very interestingly is knight yes. e4. And another one actually is only possible uh, the, the line that we saw, bishop f5, which didn't work in the previous line. Mm -hmm. Now it does work. Why? Because now black does have this queen takes d6. Yes. Because of coming. the unfortunate uh, position of the rook on e3, mm -hmm. uh, the, the pin allows black to play bishop f5. But Jubin Jun uh, went for uh, uh, another very interesting uh, approach, a more uh, concrete approach. And firstly, we, we didn't uh, understand what happened, but it, it turns out that, first of all, it should be said that black is always happy to exchange this knight, even yes. giving up, uh, giving uh -huh. up the pawn, because uh, with the extra, with the different color bishops, uh, it's uh, going to be a jogging. It's very, it's very drawish always, yes. right? So uh, white is never really, uh, never really wants to take on e4, but uh, as, as late in g uh, took right. on c7. And the point here is that black is very concretely and very fast to create counterplay. And we were actually expecting uh, Jun to play d4 here. And in the press conference, she, all, uh, she was also asked if she calculated, because there, is some, uh, there are two critical moves here for white, one uh, rook e5 mm -hmm. and one rook e4. The first one, rook e5, is uh, the most natural, 
uh, attacking the knight, mm -hmm. uh, forcing Black to, to waste the tempo uh, by protecting it. But after b6, it turns out that Black is uh, White still can do nothing to prevent d3. And after d3, we just uh, force all those pawns to be eliminated. Mm -hmm. But, as always in chess, uh, the strategical plans and positional plans are good, but you need some tactical justification. Yes. And, and for a human, it's much more difficult than for a machine, of course, to do. Of course, we cannot be always precise. Exactly. And, 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 and this is what uh, Juvin Jun said in the press conference, mm -hmm. that she, was, uh, she didn't like uh, rookie 5, okay. b6, and a5. The point, though, here is, is very is uh, important. So, we want to play d3. But uh, importantly, after c takes d3, we don't take on b3 immediately because it can be scary uh, for white, although the, the engine still says it's, uh, it's enough compensation and mm -hmm. it's a draw yes. for black, but from far away, it can be very intimidating to go there. A little bit risk. But there is even uh, an even more convincing way after a5, d3. Uh, if c takes d3, there is a very beautiful uh, resource, wow. rook c8, attacking the bishop. And the Can point I being that if pawn? you take yes. the pawn, there is a knight uh, wow. back to d7, hitting That's both beautiful. the rook and the bishop. And you are not in you cannot protect the bishop yes. because of the pin and you lose the bishop. That's smart. This is a very, very deep line. Of course, extremely hard to see that. And uh, this is why uh, Zhu Min Jun did not go to d4. Mm -hmm. Another beautiful line, which we uh, consider uh, consider during the commentary is rook e1 and uh, the point being that after d3 which black wants to play of course mm -hmm. uh, to undermine all uh, yes. all the pawn structure uh, it seems like white has uh, this very strong bishop d6 attacking on d6 and if uh, black needs to protect the, the bishop then white is simply a pawn up and a uh, game is won but black has a fantastic resource d takes c2 Rook C8. And rook, like no, D8. rook V8. This is the oh. point. So we want to, we are threatening D1. rook D1. And if uh, white pro uh, manages to protect, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, not rook D1, of course, if uh, we just take uh, yes. uh, on B3, threatening rook D1. Mm -hmm. And the point being that after we play rook D1, you cannot protect from bishop, take, uh, bishop C4. And this is... Uh, Beautiful. Yeah, and, and this uh, line uh, after bishop e2 would uh, really lead to a forced wow. uh, draw. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we actually expected uh, to see this from Juvin Jun after she played knight e4, but as she said in the, clo in the press conference, she was a bit uh, uh, afraid of... Uh, well, that's human. Queen of rook yes. 5 and it's absolutely understandable. But this variation is a totally, uh, yeah, chessing duty. Uh, yes, yes, it was absolutely, we were extremely excited here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so she opted for a queen, uh, for rook c8. Mm -hmm. And the point being that a, a very solid point, actually, and I think, uh, so she, she's threatening to exchange uh, the, the bishop on e5 and threatening to take on c2. So. Her point is, it's actually even more important that the c pawn is threatened. And her point being that after bishop d3, she does not take the, the bishop on e5 because this is frankly not an, an, it's, it's an unpleasant yes. uh, uh, position to defend. But she was planning to just go back to c5 and it really looked like a repetition, right? Mm -hmm. But elite in g found a fantastic resource here. She goes to bishop e2. You may ask, but what's the difference? The difference being that now she plays bishop c3 and she has, in many lines, she will have bishop d1 protecting the c4, uh, the c2 pawn, which will give her uh, some playing yes. chances. It's still being very near, uh, very close to a draw, but uh, yeah. the, the, game, uh, the game is still alive and this is what white wants to do. And this actually, I think uh, we felt that uh, Jovin Jun uh, missed this plan of uh, bishop e2 because now she started to make uh, some concessions in her yeah. position. So, uh, for instance, after a6, we felt that the, more st uh, the most strict way to play here was to attack immediately, to attack the pawn on c2. After a6, she gives some time for white to, to uh, give Luft for her king. Uh, and now, after g4, 
so all of a sudden black's position is a little bit uh, passive, mm -hmm. a, a yes. bit too passive. And here, uh, Juvenjun is really the, the most, uh, one of the first most critical uh, I, points in the game. Juvenjun yeah. went for f5. Yeah, I didn't like that move for the first side, but yes. I didn't know why. Absolutely, <laughs> it, it look, the move looks a little bit uh, weird. a little bit weird, a little bit artificial. But if white doesn't do anything concrete, as happened in, in the game, uh, it solves uh, all black's problems quite fast. However, and uh, white had a very strong resource wow. here, bishop b4. Uh, attacking, so basically it makes a lot of sense because the pawn on f7 was protecting the bishop on e6. Once the pawn is gone, uh, the bishop is not protected. So this move is uh, very, very annoying. The point is that black has no good way to yes. protect the bishop. Oh. Because for instance, if you play king f7, then uh, you, we take on f5 and uh, this uh, rook on, C on e7 is extremely, extremely strong. So after bishop d4, black would really have a very, very difficult position to defend. You know As what? Uh, during the game, we saw that move from the computer. I was very nervous for GNG, <laughs> but uh, after they missed the chance, I also feel sorry for Li Jingjie. Yeah, so it's, Absolutely. Uh, yes, so you, you it's a part of uh, Chinese and it's a part of war. <laughs> Absolutely, and I, we have to be honest, we didn't see this move either. Yes. We saw the bar screaming and only then we can uh, we can see. This is not a move that uh, really enters your mind yes. so easily because all the game is going on the other side of the board and uh, naturally uh, Lady J, uh, she also didn't see even, uh, didn't even consider the move because the move, if you consider it, you see it, but if yes, you don't even yes. consider it, it's ha hard to play. Uh, she said in the press conference, she said when your bishop is uh, set up uh, on C3, right. you don't want it's to very, move it. Absolutely you don't agree. want to move it, yes. Uh, suddenly to move it away from the strong diagonal. Anyway, uh, after this, uh, she still found a nice, nice resource to continue mm -hmm. uh, playing uh, with bishop b4. The point being that now if uh, black takes on c4, on c2, rook takes e4, it's not so clear. Uh, again, uh, the absence of this pawn on f7 is, v is felt very strongly because the knight does not have a four post on e6, and it's very uh, difficult for black to untangle again. The bishop on yeah. b4, on b4 proves to be very strong because the, the king the e7. supports uh, the, the e7 square. So this would be unpleasant for for black to defend, and for that reason, uh, Juve and Jun decided to go mm -hmm. rook e8. But this is another, uh, the second basically. A very important point in this yes. game because now Leighton G had uh, an option to play f3. Is a very natural move, right? Uh, we, ex uh, we use the pin of the pawn to win the pawn and she, we suspect that she, she was at, uh, afraid of knight g6 uh, with counterplay and here you would have to find the move bishop wow. e1 That's... to protect uh, to protect the pawn and then white is uh, much much better with great uh, winning chances. However, Leighton G uh, played uh, rook ta uh, bishop takes f8 and after this it's almost uh, it's very 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 drawish. Maybe. Although she still here she could still pose some uh, problems uh, uh, to, for black by uh, capturing this c file. And why it is important? Because after the game, in after rook g3, black played b5, very important. And now the point being that white has to does, uh, has to take on b5. White cannot uh, put uh, blockade the pawn on a uh, the weakness on a6 because black would have yes. counterplay along the c file, mm -hmm. and this counterplay actually saves black uh, mm -hmm. uh, down the road, because after uh, a takes b5, a b5, uh, rook g5. Now rook c8, uh, all the pawns are going to be exchanged and this uh, game will be uh, almost by force will liquidate into a draw. And a nice uh, technique by Juven uh, Jun. She forced the king to e4, took back the pawn on h4. Yeah, we know all uh, rook endgame, endgames are drawn, especially 
uh, such end games. Yeah. All in all, a draw, but a ver as you can see, a very, very exciting fight, a yeah. very exciting game. Yes, a bit uh, dangerous for G for uh, some moment, but uh, in the end, she saved. Absolutely. So, thanks yes. for watching. Yes, yes. thanks for Alice. <laughs> <and> <laughs> wonderful, yeah, fantastic recap. Yes. Great, and uh, see you tomorrow. Yes.